Hello and welcome back to another session of Brick Therapy. In this video, I will be building and reviewing LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean set 4184, The Black Pearl. This set was released in 2011 for $99.99 US dollars. A new one today will cost you about $893. It contains 804 pieces with 6 minifigures. I purchased this set used from eBay without the box or instructions. So I'll be using the instructions I found on LEGO's website. Let's take about two minutes to put it together and then I'll come back and give you my thoughts on the set. Okay, here it is, the Black Pearl set 4184 from Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's take a closer look at the minifigs. We'll start with Captain Sparrow. Starting from the bottom, he has reddish brown legs with printing for the coattail and sash. His torso print is dark brown with the print of a jacket over a white open shirt. He has dual side head prints with a smile on one side and a scared expression on the other side. His headpiece is multicolored with black dreadlocks, red bandana, and white ornaments. Next, let's look at Will Turner. He has dark brown legs without printing. His torso is light bluish gray with dark bluish gray embroidery and dark brown belt printing. He also has a dual printed head. One side he's smiling and on the other side he is sneering. He has a brown hair piece that is swept back with a short ponytail. Now we move to Joshmi Gibbs. He has light bluish gray legs, dark bluish gray torso with printing of a vest over a tan shirt. Again, we get dual printing of the head, an angry expression on one side and a scared expression on the other side. Mr. Gibbs has a similar hair piece to what we saw with Will Turner, except this time it's in dark bluish gray. Bootstrap Bill has printless light blue gray legs. His torso print has barnacles encrusted on his sweater, chest, and face, front and back. His face also has a starfish print. He is sporting a vintage pirate bandana in dark brown. Then we come to Maccus. He has dark brown legs. His torso is light gray with printed patterns of a sash and barnacles, as well as a lobster on his back. His head has printing both front and back, but he only has one facial expression. He has one eye closed and sharp teeth. His headpiece is in the shape of a hammerhead shark with barnacles. Then we come to Davy Jones, possibly the most expensive minifig in the Pirates of the Caribbean theme, other than the special trophy brick of Jack Sparrow. Davy Jones comes with dark bluish gray legs with a medium nugget peg leg. His torso is dark blue with printing of a shirt with barnacles. He has a medium nugget crab pincer hand that is only seen on one other minifig, the fly monster from the series 14 CMF line. The pieces that make him rare are the tan beard with tentacles, his head, and his headpiece. They are only used for this figure. 
Now let's look at the infamous Black Pearl. As the name accurately describes it, the ship is mostly black, from the hull pieces to the ship's masts and sails. It is so dark, I don't know if my camera was able to capture all the pieces during the time lapse. Let's start out front. The figurehead is an all black female wearing a dress with wings. She is supposed to be carrying a black feather in her right hand, but mine was missing and I don't have an extra one in my collection. Next we move to the anchor. I'm disappointed that the anchor is just attached to a chain that is held in place by stud. To drop the anchor, the crew would have to lift up and throw it over. To retrieve the anchor, you would have to manually pull it up. Next we come to a section I'll call the hull of the ship. We have three cannon ports on each side of the ship, but only two are meant for cannons. The third and most stern cannon port is blocked by stairs. The ports are too high for the cannons. The cannon can only be set to the most upward angle. We are given two of the newer round brick firing cannons, but they are not on wheels, so it would be difficult for the crew to move and reload. A similar complaint I had with the 2015 brick bounty. We are given a crate with six cannon balls and a barrel with two swords and a fish. Above the hold, we have what some may call the main deck. It provides a very narrow one stud walkway on both sides of the ship. Between the stairs, we have the door to the captain's cabin. The captain's cabin is accessible by two swing out walls from the sides, as well as from above with a removable quarter deck. The back wall had the ability to swing down, but I may have locked it in place by accident. Inside the cabin, we have a table and a desk for the captain. The desk has a sexton, a map, and a bottle on the desk. There is room to add additional items like a bed or storage on either side. Going out of the captain's cabin, we have two sets of stairs leading to the quarter deck. The quarter deck only has a ship wheel and a mizzen mast. The main mast is the only location we find any rigging. At the top of the rigging, we come to the crow's nest. Its view is blocked looking forward by the lower main sail. At the top of the mast, we have the only pirate flag for the set. The Black Pearl is a nice ship. As a display piece, I probably would not change much. It's been a long time since I've seen the ship in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, so I don't remember all the ship's details, but I feel it's very close to the movie version. As a play set, I would make some slight modifications, but that's the great thing about LEGO. It's very easy to modify. This ship fits nicely with the other ships from the LEGO Pirate theme. I would highly recommend this ship for fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie or Pirates. I can only see the price of this set going up unless LEGO re-releases it. You should be cautious buying this set used. There are a lot of knockoffs out there. Thank you for joining me on another session of Brick Therapy. I hope you enjoyed my review of set 4184, The Black Pearl. Let me know in the comments what you think of this ship. That's all for now. I hope to see you on the next Brick Therapy session. Take care.